When it comes to weddings, everyone wants the perfect day. But unless you have unlimited funds, it's I do, but at what cost? But it's not so, done. Yeah, and it's going to be done. It doesn't take that long. Well, you didn't even know what my idea was. You would have so really appreciated it. It doesn't matter it. what your idea was, because now it's not going to happen. So moving on. You can't have your wedding outdoors. I'm about to have a mental breakdown. Please do not bring up the church. The church is not happening. OK, the wall You're needs the letters. You're spending money we don't have. Well, yeah, we You're need to think about the venue. You're buying a canoe. That is oh my God, I'm the most thing I've ever first. heard. Weddings are a ceremony where old meets new. Weddings are a bar that's actually a canoe. Weddings are events where costs will accrue. Meet newlyweds Lisa and Ash. Getting their wedding right meant heading to the great outdoors. Let's follow along as they plan their perfect wedding while avoiding a forest of debt. My name is Lisa. I'm a 28-year-old fashion designer. I met my fiancé, Ash, a 28-year-old student at a bar in New York City. They say opposites attract, and that we are. But one thing we do have in common is the fact that we consider ourselves to be old spirits. This is the story of how we struggled to plan our vintage-themed wedding, differences and all. Our wedding day was beyond perfect. I, I honestly don't think we could have had a better day. It was pretty awesome. It was perfect. We, we had a really good time. Ash looked kind of cute a little bit. She looked all right, you know. Their wedding may have been a day to remember, but the planning of it is something they'd probably rather forget. Let's take a look back and see what did and did not get completed on the way to their perfect day. I just really wanted a wedding planner to help kind of expand on my ideas. Um, a little bit organized and had a few ideas. So I just kind of wanted someone to help me make that vision happen because I really wasn't getting a lot of help. So I needed help. Sweet baby Jeebus on a stick. You didn't ask for help. Meet David Conley. David has nine years of experience helping couples create their dream weddings. But how will David deal with a slow moving groom and a bride who's quick to disagree with him? This is a dumb idea. It's not a dumb idea. I agree, but buying he's... No, you know why I'm thinking about this? Because no one else is. You're thinking about, okay, yeah, we You're need to think about the about venue. You're thinking about buying a canoe. That is oh my God, I'm thinking about renting one first. Heard. My role as wedding planner is to take a couple's imagination and put them through my filter to come up with something that's realistic and at the same time beyond their expectation. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Tell me about the vision. We want to have more of a party than a wedding. We're trying to think of it as a party with a wedding inside. Uh, OK, like what kind of party? Like a, a rip-roaring party, a very swank party, city party, country party? We want it to be outside. We both like the outdoors. Like outside at a country club with like a hoi polloi polloi or like outside at a like barn a, dance? Or... Kind of like a forested area yeah. and um, vintage-y. Like we, we don't want it to be too literal or too kitschy. We just want to bring vintage elements into the wedding. We want to have the ceremony and the reception at the same place okay. so that people don't have that wait time. So I actually have something in mind. We'll have to take a little trip. OK. Um, and no, I had something in mind, too. Is it outside? <laughs> Not quite, uh, but I think we should check it out. So we're going to go to the place that's look, you outside. Know Our, you're not going to start like that with already. This is so soon. You haven't decided on whether it's outside or not? It's outside. Um, we haven't decided. We've decided. OK. No. How many people will be fitting either inside or outside? Um, about 100. OK. So who is paying? This guy right here. Only because I'm in school right now and can't work, so. You know, maybe, you know, we can discuss things a little bit more. Ideas don't pay the bills, my friend. Yeah, but they make people have a good time. And I have lots of ideas and storyboards. Not as many as you might think. Do you have the skill set to make those storyboards come yep. true? I'm a designer, so. But you can actually make them yep. for very little money. And are you handy with your hands to make yes. these projects happen? Yes. But he moves slow. I'm not that slow, OK? Like, I have a list of things and plenty of time to How do. many, OK, not plenty of time. How many things are crossed off? Mm. We have to be honest. Right, Dave is helping right us. Now, yeah, exactly. It's going to sound bad because I'm going to say none of them are crossed off right now, but none a lot of them are, are mostly off. done. What do you have done? Right. Nothing. So we're just being honest here. 
And I would say a very good thing to do very soon would be to assign all of those tasks to a budget and a timeline. He has one. Basically, if they're done before the wedding, that's meeting the timeline. It's very stressful to be the one that's in charge of the budget, because I kind of feel like the buzzkill most of the time, but I, I don't want to put us into debt. We have a lot of things we want to do. We want to buy a house. We want to go on vacations. And for one day, it's just, it's not worth it to put ourselves into debt. Do we have a dress? We will. Um, that's a no. Well, Something she doesn't have done yet. Well, it's my dress, so it's going to get done. So I want something vintage. So right now I'm looking at um, vintage stores and looking online, because I want to use something vintage as a base and maybe recreate it. Well, you're a designer, so if there's yeah. any element of this that you can take on, take that on. Yeah, and, um, I, and I know I can finish it. I have to finish it, so. And if you don't, do I get to harp on you about that? I'm not going to not have little, a dress. Little jabs? I'm not going to not have a dress. What about um, photography? Well, we're lucky that we have a lot of frienders. <laughs> I mean, obviously, we're paying for everything, but we'll probably get hooked up. So she's going to give you a break, yeah. but not for free, OK? Yeah. Well, we're also thinking of making a photo booth. Anytime someone comes up and wants a picture, we'll have, like. It's on his list, so yeah. who knows? It might not even happen. There's a lot on your list. It's not that much. Okay. Yes, we're making a backdrop. OK. It feels labor intensive, that's all. Uh, not as hard as you might think. OK. You can just whip something up real fast. OK, well, so real fast and Ash do not go together, so. Well, it also it's, has it's to be. It's a prop wall. OK, well, we'll see. So great photography. And what about videography? Any moving picture? We'll probably, well, we can't afford it. Actually, well, because we can't afford it, I had some ideas that I wanted to uh, kind of check out. I do you, do you have a video camera? Yeah, I found something. And it's actually going to be really cool and completely fit into the vintage part of our wedding. We don't have videography. We'll have videography, trust me. I I'll, I'll talk to you about it later. There are certain pieces of information I'm that... I'm trying to surprise her here, and well, she's... Is that a surprise? It's going to give me an anxiety attack. <laughs> so let me see if I have this. We have a vintage wedding outside. It's glam, but it's forest. It's 50s, but it's also eclectic. We have a short, sweet ceremony followed by a great big party that happens to be a wedding. It's a mishmash of opposing elements, kind of like us. Yeah. OK. How much do mishmashed elements go for these days? Remember, it's I do, but at what cost? It's a vintage budget. For a vintage wedding. Uh. Coming up. We've talked about it. We've decided this is what we're doing. Lisa, this is the only thing that I'm asking of you. This is so important to me. If we were going to do it all over again, I would have bought the house we were going to buy and Instead of the wedding. get married in the backyard. <laughs> Whereas if we did it again, I would do it much bigger with more people and spend more money. When it comes to planning your wedding, make sure everyone has a hands-on approach. And are you handy with your hands to make yes. these projects happen? Yes. But he moves slow. I'm not that slow. OK. And at the end of the show, we'll see if this groom continued to move slowly or if he just spent the budget lickety-split. So I wanted my idea for a venue to be heard and recognized. So I took Lisa and David on a great little tour of a place that was well within the budget, totally in the color scheme, and reflected my love of theater and our love of the places we've been. I know what you guys are thinking. I'm thinking busy, 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 quick, quick, quick. Awesome, right? <laughs> yep. Red, black, huh? Stage, uh, small wedding, not anymore. We got people. I don't get it. I don't get it. I, I... Are you kidding? Doesn't this remind you of Brooklyn? Like being back to some of those bars, you know, we'd walk in, they have the little, the shows that it go on back there. It reminds me of a torture chamber, actually. Most people say the torture doesn't start until after the wedding. How much is this? That's the best part. $500 for the night. You know that a place like this, you have to bring everything in, right? We'd have to bring in the chairs and the tables, and we'd have to bring we in... chairs. We'd have to bring vaccines for people. It's good for what it is for. Like, it's good for whatever they use it for, I'm sure, but it's not for a wedding not reception. For a wedding. And can we please go, and how can we keep you on track? He's on track. It's just the wrong track. Sorry, man. It's, it's not happening. I don't fully believe that my opinions are being uh, accepted and heard out. I think a lot of them are being shot down before they even take off, before they have a chance to spread their wings. I was a little concerned that Ash and I were so far off in terms of our vision for a venue, but I knew I could sway him to see things my way. We took David and my mom to see one of the venues that I really wanted to book. Love it. 
cost. It's worth the $1,500 rental, but that's all you get for $1,500 is basically the four walls and the floor. Otherwise, you have to pay for the rentals of the chairs, the tables, the linens, the food, the, the everything, right? I'm not as concerned about that because I know we'll make it, we'll cut things in the budget. This is just, this is the perfect place. I don't want to look anywhere else. I, I just, I think we're done. It's beautiful, it's perfect. So this is a huge choice. Can we just like check this off and call it done? Done, booked. Booked, booked. and you're good? He I likes mean, it, you, you're good. Your I'm smile says yes. Awesome. Now we're gonna go look at the rest of outside, cause okay. Why I, outside? Outside. I have a surprise for you guys. Surprise. So surprise. Go. Okay. Amazing. Okay, I think I'm getting nervous here. Nervous? What okay. is this? Well, Ash, come stand here. <laughs> this is where we're getting married. Lisa. It's beautiful out here. Before you say anything, just... Lisa, look. no, 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 no. The nature's beautiful. That, that's, that's part of your venue. That's not part of your ceremony. This is our Why ceremony. Not? I'm serious. You know how the family feels. We're not, we're not doing it in a church. That's not like who we are, though. We've, we've talked about it. We've decided this is what we're doing. Lisa, this is the only thing that I'm asking of you. This is so important to me. How do you think your baptiste is going to feel about Everybody's going to get over it. And it sounds like they won't have a choice about it. It's just Mom, tragic. You know at, at the end of the day... Please think about it. Mom, it's done. I'm paying for it. Done. I guess in this family, you have to pay to have a say. I think regardless of who's paying for it, in this case, it's their wish. And so, uh, gently as we can, tell people how beautiful this is. Lisa, the ceremony is not something to play with. It's not. It's the most important part it of is the, the entire most wedding. Important part. And Absolutely. we've sat down and we've discussed what's important to us. And that's what we're doing. And everybody, the day of, nobody's gonna care. I think that is exactly what mom is worried about. Okay, so to tally, we're $1,500 inside. This space is $600. This, this is like a bomb landed on me. You're so melodramatic. That's how I feel, I'm sorry. Well, mom, you're gonna get yeah, over I'm, it. I'm very disappointed. I do feel bad when the parents don't get their wishes. This seems to be a big wish. So they'll hopefully come to terms with that, ultimately. The vision for my dress, I wanted, really wanted to take an old school dress, vintage dress, recreate it, and turn it into something new and beautiful. So I asked some of my family and friends if they could bring old dresses. So no. I know I said no. I wanted a vintage no. dress, but not happening, sorry. No, no. it's we said. It looks it's like old. I'm gonna haunt your dreams. <laughs> it's, like a it's not the vision. Who brought this one? Allah's dress? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we're gonna call this one 80s chic. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Allah. Yeah. Okay, we have this one too. I have one that might be just right. Mom, why do you keep putting your dress in this pile? <laughs> oh my God. I have seen this dress a million times. It has potential. If you cinch it at the waist. Yeah. Yeah, and you cut the neck, make it lower, the sleeves. This dress needs an entire overhaul. Just try it on. So yeah. I this yeah. dress oh makes me God. want to barf all over oh, myself. That's <laughs> my nightmare. Oh my God. Yeah. Do a twirl. Can you turn around? Yeah. Oh, no. Don't trip over the train. Oh, wait. Yes. Who wants to see the veil? The Barbara Stanton totally rocked this in 1976. Oh, oh my God. God. I love Barbara. 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 Lisa, you wanted vintage. That's vintage. Are, are you looking at what it looks like on me? It's exactly no. Lisa, we can reshape it. We can make it as like what you dream of. Okay, you know what? I'll, I'll give you that there are a few elements that I can see. Like I can see this. Okay, even okay. one scrap of my dress will make me happy. And I like this. Okay. Everything else has guts to go because it's bad. And if it's if it doesn't look like the sketch, I'm not wearing it. And then I don't. And I then get we're gonna it. go. I get it. And then we're gonna buy the dress that I want in the store. You this. sketch it, I'll make it. Are you Not sure? A problem. Oh, well, you're gonna love that dress when I'm done with Pinky it. Pinky swear from afar. Pinky swear from afar. <laughs> so I had a list of things to do for the wedding, and among them was a photo booth. This is um, two, two. costumes for the photo booth. Love it. Yay. This is more Yuli. Love it. This well, fine. is awesome. So whose idea was the photo booth? It was my idea. I think. And what's the backdrop? It's gonna look like it's in somebody's house. It's gonna be wall with wallpaper. Okay. Little cool. saying, little quote that we like. What will you do? Will you post the pictures after? I think we're gonna put them in our thank you cards. Oh, such a good idea. Yeah, so everyone can take it home. Are you sure it's done? Well, well he said that he wants to show us, so I'm assuming Here, it's done. You, you okay. be Miss Photo Booth. 
Here. Whoop, almost get you. What is this? This is the wall. What is this? This this is the wall. I may be old fashioned, but shouldn't a wall be upright? You realize that part of the reason that we wanted to see it done today was so that we could see if it works. And because if it doesn't, we need a backup plan. What? Backup plans are a dime a dozen, they're easy. <laughs> Did you actually measure anything? Is it going to fit into the car? Do we, do we know how does, to move it? It does just barely <laughs> fit into the car. But is this big enough for two people to stand in front of? Like, how awesome would the three of us look? Right? Ta-da! <laughs> how wide are we? Pretty wide. Wide. You should measure, probably. All right, so we can make it, add another panel and make it three hinge. How are you going to hinge this if it's a wall? Like, how's it going to stand up? Is it Oh, there's gonna, no, no, no. There's going to be uh, supports. I have two by fours and things like that to just put on the back of supports. How much is this costing? Uh, all the material came out to about 150 and change. OK, you're supposed to not spend more than $50. $50 was the limit. If I'd known we had $150, then we would have just rented something done three-dimensional, like a some kind of prop thing. But that doesn't have a personal touch to it. Yes, it does. We can we can choose anything. Can we, we still want. do that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, you know what? First of all, a lot of my ideas keep getting like just tossed off the plate. I got the stuff. But it's not so, done. Yeah, and it's going to be done. It doesn't take that long. I'm gonna do it, like I said. If we give you two days, all right. can you book something so that we I have can put, it? I can put something on hold, which is not—it's not to upset you at no, all. No, no, it's no. actually to give you relief. Look, that's a fair compromise. Two days—that's all. That's plenty of time. Hey, hey. I'm doing it. We got to give him a chance. Right. So, and, you have two days. Coming up. It's uh, not going away before the wedding. This isn't what we want. No. We can't do it here. I would have to say I'm the cheaper one. He's the cheapskate. I'm the spender. But I did well on wedding day, you and I planned for the every... budget. Yes, I did. When it comes to assigning jobs for your wedding, be sure no one has too much on their plate. If I'd known we had $150, then we would have just rented something done three-dimensional. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, you know what? First of all. A lot of my ideas keep getting like just tossed off the plate. But it's not so, done. Yeah, and it's going to be done. It doesn't take that long. I'm gonna do it, like I said. And at the end of the show, we'll find out if this groom steps up to the plate or smashes the budget. So we invited Lisa's mom and David along for the tasting with the caterer. And just another example of another time when my opinion is not being heard, even though it should be considering my expertise and experience with food. Well, maybe if it was a good opinion or a good idea, you might listen. I don't know, Lisa. I, I would rather be sitting down. Well, you will sit or down. Get your food and then you'll sit down. Well, you know what I mean. I'm not quite sure about this serve yourself. Looks so good. Enjoy, everybody. Shall we? There are a lot of costs associated with a heritage place like this. Mm -hmm. That means the food and the beverage is a huge part of your budget. Huge. So. I'm saying you gotta like it. You gotta love it because it's going to mean, I think, that we don't have a lot of money for the things based on our numbers. So if if that is a cross section of what I the actual question. menu is, yeah. Um, speaking of the menu and budget items, we had talked about a nacho station. Now we have the chips, which are awesome. Um, the nachos were very expensive. Not to mention a little cheesy. How how expensive can Nachos being, maybe we can take something else out, right, like that David, plate of squash or something. How expensive can nachos be? I'll double check. I think they're like six or eight dollars a person, which means you're at like eight hundred dollars for nachos. For nachos. Well, don't they? Do, can't they just do a big bowl of chips and a, a cheese fountain? That's exactly what costs eight dollars. Beyond the fact that that's disgusting, we're not having a cheese fountain. No, it, it okay. reminds me too much of a hockey game or football game. Then what was all that talk about earlier? You're like, oh, that that would be kind of a good idea during the cocktail hour. Bands playing, people were walking yeah, around nacho talking, dip drinking. station. Woo. See how we have hummus, the eggplant. That is not nachos. I think that's kind of the point. How Same are you as... enjoying the food? It's really well, good. Well, we were Very enjoying good. the food, and then we had a bit of a nacho breakdown, but. Um, can you just settle that for us once and for all? The nachos are how much? So the fountain itself, we would have to rent in, which you're looking at about six to eight hundred dollars for that piece of equipment. Awesome. Kind no of nachos. Like Not happening. You know what? Those Let's move collectors on. Collectors' items. Can we can we side that? This is a cross section of everything they're getting. That's right. Yeah. How much are we in for for this menu? One 
30 to 150 per person, and that would include past hors d'oeuvres, um, your meal, your bar package, your landmark fee, your event coordination fee. This is our budget. So this is it. The food's done. You get to sign off on the food. Excellent. This is, it's as inexpensive as we can get. Uncross your fingers. And um, thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I guess, you know, what. when it comes to the end, I, I didn't notice that Dutch cheese fountain wasn't there, but then again, I was the one getting married. I guarantee you everyone at that wedding was missing that fountain. Nobody noticed. Everybody noticed. I found an old camera that really, I think, fit in with our vintage feel. And David found a place where we could take it to get fixed. So I have this camera. It's a Bell and Howell. It looks pretty old. I remember this when I was a kid. This is uh, Super 8. Yeah. And you know what? It's so corroded, it probably won't work at this point. It's going to need some service. Remind me why we want to use, with all the technology we have, a camera from 1975. Well, I like, the, I like the feel of it, you know. And I have a feeling this could go terribly wrong. Who's taking the footage? Uh, well, I'm not exactly sure right now. I mean, I figured when Lisa's coming up, I would, like, walk up the aisle, I would do a shot and then maybe pass it off to... <laughs> like you have time for that? Like, you want to be focused on getting the well, shot that, well, and not on your bride for the first time you've seen her in this? Oh, I'll be watching her. I'm just going to be pointing it at her. I'm not going to... You, you, you don't need to look through a lens? He's going to multitask. He can't even single task. Is it film? Well, this is film. Well, this isn't video. This is film. Did you know that? Like, you have no. to put a cartridge in here, right? close the door, do your filming, and then when that three and a half minute run is over, you have to take the film out. Come on, three and a half minutes. I think the wedding may be a little longer than that. For three and a half minutes, the film itself is about $15. And then you have to get it processed. You're looking at about $25 to process it. Oh, and then you're probably not going to want to set up the movie projector to watch it. So you're likely going to want to transfer it to video. And that's going to run you somewhere around $40 for a frame by frame video. For three minutes? For three and a half minutes. So. $27 a minute. Do you know how much a videographer is? Not that much. So, again, back to our task list, which is find a videographer we can afford. Look, I really like this idea, so... Work on this project maybe for your 10th anniversary. How's that? I'll help you. For now, we're gonna leave it here, and we're gonna do what we were supposed to do, which is your task list, which is what? Uh, find a... Find a videographer. Videographer. Uh, David called us to meet him at the venue because he had been alerted to something that he thought we should know. Yeah. So, stress... Ah, right about there. This is terrible, David. Unacceptable. Well, How could they do this without telling us? They apparently sent a letter explaining the... Um, it's a government-funded thing, and so... to this extent. Um, it's... Uh, not going away before the wedding. There's I don't imagine. orange fencing. Maybe they can work it into their color scheme. The view out half of the room is now cladding, and we can't use the bridal suite, and we, um... Uh, uh, and you can't see the forest. The whole reason that we booked this was for the nature, yeah. for the trees, and you, you can't see it. You can't see anything. I need to know whether you guys are willing to... No. It doesn't match the vision of the little girl stream, does it? This doesn't match any vision. This isn't what we want. No. I, I'm just, I feel devastated. We can't do it here. I think this is a sign, honestly. You can't have your wedding outdoors. We're having an outdoor wedding. Lisa, you we know, that's adding to the stress right now. It's bad enough that this is the way it is for the reception. How, now we have to look for another We're venue. We're having the that ceremony has... outside. We will find something. Oh my gosh, Lisa! I trust where are David. We going to find... David. David is magic. He will oh. find something. Oh, stick to the church, <laughs> and then you have to find a reception. A it's church. a lot easier not than doing... having to find. Mom, a... We just came oh here, gosh, and this place Lisa. is a nightmare. Like I'm about to have a mental breakdown. Please do not bring up the church. The church is not happening. Okay, it's it's not. We need to figure out something to replace this. We're doing our wedding outside. This is a few weeks before Lisa, the wedding. Lisa, this, this is two impossible things that we're looking for. No. Can we stick to one? 
We're, we will do the some... church, and then we'll look for a reception area. I think anything's possible, and I think that until we know it's not, then we'll react then. I think that she's like she's the one we have to kind of like protect in this moment. And um, miracles happen. We there might be there there could very well be a venue that's <laughs> in our price range and available <laughs> on a Saturday. We never know how these things are gonna happen. It's never happened to me before, but I do know that you're gonna get married somewhere you love. I do know that because you deserve to. And um, and miracles happen. Coming up. We don't, we don't have anything done and That's we're here. Right. But but they're also looking is... at canoes to buy. How do we never have anything done? Because you don't finish your list. My wedding speech, you have to realize, I was a little inebriated first from the rabbi and then from my buddies. I try to do it off the cuff. I was trying to compare an Israeli fruit called a sabra to my wife who was Israeli, how it is sweet on the inside, but not necessarily a little prickly on the outside. But using the word juicy was not part of this, properly part of the speech. When it comes to the location of your wedding, look closely before you sign on the dotted line. It's uh, not going away before the wedding. I think this is a sign, honestly. We're having an outdoor wedding. Lisa, you we know, were... we just came oh here gosh, and this place Lisa. is a nightmare. Like, I'm about to have a mental breakdown. Please do not bring up the church. The church is not happening. And at the end of the show, we'll see if this bride hung on to her wits or just lost her savings. So, of the plethora, that's right, plethora of great ideas that I had, one of which was a canoe bar. How awesome is that? Filled with ice, booze, speaks for itself. Unfortunately, there were some, you know, who didn't appreciate it. These are okay. not rentals, and they're not wooden, because we want, yeah. the whole idea of doing this is to like really bring home that rustic kind of theme of that 1950s perfect right. lodgy. I was thinking though, for the long run, why not buy one? You want to buy a $2,000 canoe? No, no, not this one. The wooden ones. Did I hear someone say, you want to buy a boat? <laughs> OK, I'm not talking about a schooner here or a sloop. I'm talking about a canoe. Um, you heard right. The man wants to buy the canoe instead of rent it. I think this idea may be dead in the water. Why the hell is that such an insane idea? We need to think about the venue. You're thinking about buying a canoe. That is the oh most ridiculous about renting thing I've ever first. heard. Just take a deep breath and know that Nothing is worth that much strife this close to a wedding that isn't even really planned yet. Is this it? one? We don't, we don't have anything done, and That's we're here. Right, but but they're also looking is... at canoes to buy. But there's also how do we never have anything done? Because you don't finish your list. We're not even sure about where we're having our wedding, and you're concentrating on a canoe. With all the stresses that we've had, venue. It's it's not funny. Lighten up a little bit. Or maybe it's time for the groom to see the light. So we'll all have a little breath. She's left, which is always good. Um, I'm going to go look at rentals. You're going to just come up with a way to say you're sorry to your bride, because that's what you do. No, I'll just sleep on the couch tonight. Ash, husband, wife. The husband apologizes. It's how it works. Through time. No, no, no. Through time. Yeah, well, times are changing. You know what I'm saying? David called us in for our budget meeting, and at, at this point, we still hadn't didn't have a venue booked. So, the venue of your dreams is is no longer available to us. Uh, I do have a place that I'd like you to look at. It's closed today. Price point is, I think, comparable. But again, it's just from what I'm reading online. It's not any conversation I've had yet. The, um, same, the same area. It's close-ish. It's like 10 minutes away. Yeah. Are you open at all to changing the date? No. <laughs> we can't. Yeah. Everyone's coming in for that time. Yeah, most of my family. Right. Like, everyone's so from out of town. It is a popular like season to be married in. Outside venues go first in the fall because it's the fall. Let's cross our fingers that tomorrow's going to work out. Let's know that we might have to move inside. <gasps> If we do like this place tomorrow, and it is available and in our price point, we can bring the caterer. Okay. Which is awesome. What about the video? Where are we on that? Oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> well. Whenever he starts something with um, with it cough. means, yeah. yeah, not happening. So no video? Not at the moment. There's no then, video. Then it's not going to happen. Okay. 
Well, you didn't even know what my idea was. You would have okay. really appreciated it. It doesn't matter okay. what your idea was, because now it's not going to happen. So moving on. And you said you were going to do it, and now it's not happening. And now we're not going to have a videographer you know, for our wedding. I think. What about the photo booth? Where are we with photo booth? Oh my god, it'll be finished for the day. Not done. Not Is done. It done. Not done. Not done. It's it not will completely be. finished. Well, I don't want to finish building it because it's at your, your parents' house, and who knows how many people are there all the time and going to move it and break pieces off. the photo booth? No, they might move it and break pieces off. We do have a backdrop option on hold that I'm going to take off hold. It, there is a cost. Um, it's a crescent moon. Like, people used to sit in a paper oh, that's moon. That's why I'm going to knock her pretty soon. Is that his idea of a honeymoon? It's a crescent moon like that, and the guests sit on a little bench, and you can do, you still do your costumes that you Done. want to do. You okay with that? Yeah, yes, like, get cool. it. In is line there a with this petty budget. cash section of this budget I'm not aware of? Like yeah, a you know what? I made board. buffer room for ridiculous oh, for your stuff. ideas that you have that I cut out. You made so, no buffer. No, making buffer room means you would have used one of said ideas, which has yet to happen. Why are you so interested in the budget all of a sudden? You're never, anytime I bring I'm, up budget, no, you I'm don't want to hear about yeah, it. It's you just, only ever bring up the budget when it's something I want to do. Guys, tensions are high, and I get that. The reality is we're on budget. And moving forward, the way we think they are, we're going to stay on budget. And so that's really great. There's, we don't have to be anxiety about that. So. Um, Congratulations, and let's just get out of here and cross our fingers that the rest is um, gonna roll out to All your right. wishes. Let's hope so. Okay. David called us to come see a venue that he had found last minute, which was pretty amazing of him. And we did go in with an open mind, but it was hard to kind of forget about the initial venue that we loved. Yeah. Well, it's outdoorsy. It's yeah, in nature and natural and we're gonna use our imaginations in this room a lot. All things considered being the, keeping the same date and making sure that it's within a 10 or 15 minute bus ride of the hotels that we've booked because there's so many out of town people. Um, on a Saturday in the fall in nature meant that we're really lucky to have this as an option. I, I think for dinner and dancing, this, this could be great. We, we just need to see the, the ceremony site. Yeah. Right. You come down from the gateway there, come down here, aisle, 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 David, aisle. David, David. Hold on. Is she happy or sad? It's perfect. It's perfect, you it's love it? Perfect, perfect. I think she likes it. If she likes it, I definitely like it. Do Wait. you like it? Babe, I love it. It's perfect. It's so much more us. Yeah. It's, I feel like this is what so we really wanted like, to begin with. Yeah. Just, you can see. It's like we never had another venue. Like, this is. <gasps> I know. So, are we paying more? You're paying almost the same. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And yeah. the old venue has offered us a 100% refund. Good. <laughs> oh. Oh, I guess David is magic after all. Why didn't we start here? This is all... Well, you know what? Crazy things happen for crazy reasons, <laughs> and you two are crazy, and I think this is, like, in a way far more you than the other yeah. place. It was getting really, really close to the wedding, and I wanted to check in with my mom to see how she was doing with all the projects she was working on. How's it going? How's the dress, Barb? Good, good, good. I'm quite pleased with it. Are you? Yeah, it's, tell me what I'm you think. So it's right nervous. there. I'm nervous. Well, to I'm see nervous too. to hear what you have to yeah, say nervous. after that. Are you ready? Yes, let's okay. see this. Oh, oh my wow, God. Barb. That's a completely different dress. It's completely different. That's gorgeous. So you can see the whole outside is the vintage. I got Chantilly lace. That's old, very, very old. Beautiful. You did such a good job. Oh, I can't believe I'm so it. glad. Honestly, I was ready to buy a dress. Yeah. So I'm off the hook. I don't know you a dress. You're this is amazing. Magical. And it's magic to the budget. What do you think? I think it's perfect. It's perfect. I love it. I love the, the detail of the little bow, too. Do you? Yeah. It looks amazing. Yep. Absolutely amazing. I love the lace. It's perfect. Are you honestly happy? It's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> Coming up. Do you know what this is supposed to spell? Oh, heck no. <laughs> awesome. Mad, it's mad something love. Mad, <laughs> love. mad, it love. I was really stressed on my wedding day because we ran about two hours late getting to the chapel, and I wasn't sure if he was going to keep waiting for me. Really? Well, just in case. I I figured he'd wait because I'm the best thing that ever happened to him. <laughs> when it comes to unforeseen problems with your wedding, it's best to be open to change. Are you open at all to changing the date? No. 
we yeah. can't, everyone's coming in for that time. Yeah, most of my family. Let's know that we might have to move inside. And at the end of the show, we'll see if this couple got the wedding of their dreams or if they had to settle for second best. The morning of the wedding, I was, I was a little bit nervous because I wasn't sure if everything was going to get done, photo booth. Um, there are just some details leading up to the wedding that we still had to work on. I, I would love to see what Ash is doing right now. Uh, my dad took them all to the racetrack. This morning? Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out. Mom, yeah. can you help me with the veil? Thank you. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, I like it like that. Is that good? That's good. I'm gonna have it like this the whole night. Is it comfortable? Is it fun to have it like this the whole night? No, no you should wear it like that the yeah. whole night. It'll look amazing. Yeah. Oh, no! You're totally gonna have a big head now. Oh, my God. Guys, is it gonna rain? No, no, no. Is it cold? Cold? no it's it's Waking up was pretty good. It was, uh, it was a good day. I was excited. Um, really nervous. Should got a non-iron shirt. This must be the last thing on the groom's to-do list. While Ash was getting polished up, David was trying to hang the moon in time for the wedding and trying to figure out what to do with Ash's unfinished photo wall. Did you? Oh, my god. <laughs> it's like a whole thing. It's like. But it doesn't, there's no, there's nothing to stop it from like. No. Falling or not falling. It looks like David has hit a brick wall with this wall. Is that hole supposed to be like that? It's the only way it could fold and, oh, I mean, you could close it into a little bit of a triangle, do you know what I mean, and make it like a corner. Like, it's a total disaster, <laughs> but we have to figure out a solution of what we're actually going to do with it. So let's bring it over to the speaker. Hi. Hey, how are you? I'm good. You're? Dennis. Steve. Dennis. Ash is dead. Here's the piece that's missing. The other piece oh. should be on Oh, there. we have a piece. Well, then Don't we have a piece? Yeah, piece, I know. David. Oh, you got the other piece. Here's the letters. <laughs> do you know what this is supposed to spell? Oh, heck no. <laughs> awesome. It's something to love. I just don't, I can't. L-O-V is the end, and then there should be a two, and then I don't know what the other word is. It's going to spell disaster if they don't get everything set up in time. Mad, it's mad something love. Mad, <laughs> love. mad it love. Mad to live. Yes. Bye. Yes. We're good. He sent in his posse. That's good. There was a chance of rain, but no chance of the guests getting wet. Are you nervous at all? Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, I just got my liquid courage. I think that it kind of really hit me that we were getting married. When I was waiting with uh, with my sister and some of my friends to kind of walk down the aisle, and I knew Ash was there, I knew he was all dressed up, and I was just, I was just really excited. I, I couldn't wait to see everything. She looked beautiful on the day of. I uh, thought she did a really good job designing her dress, and she looked amazing. I promise to accompany you on all of our future adventures and be your partner in crime all the days of my life. I, Stephen Ashley McCarthy, <clears throat> take you, Lisa Christina Stanton, to be the wife of my days, my best friend for life. <clears throat> when you are mischievous, I will conspire with you. Uh, when you are happy, I'll laugh with you. When you are sad, I'll cry with you. It is your heart that moves me, your mind that challenges me, your hands that I wish to hold until my last breath. Uh, you are life's most precious gift to me, and I will give thanks to the stars every time I gaze upon them. And in the presence of all of our loved ones, all of our friends and family, <clears throat> it's you. I thank you for making me a man and a better man than I could ever hope to be. Lisa, you may now kiss the groom. <laughs> Coming up. I think I will tell my family what you are saying about that. I think they'll hear it. I don't think they're going to be very impressed. <laughs> well, I'm part of the family now. It doesn't matter. <laughs> When I was walking down the aisle, 
I wondered if I was going to make it there in one piece because it was such a long walk down that aisle. Remember, I almost fell. That's right. I was going <laughs> to say you, you uh, sort of stepped on your train and you tipped over to one side. When it comes to your wedding day, do whatever it takes to get you through the day. Are you nervous at all? Not anymore. <laughs> I just, uh, <laughs> got my liquid courage. And soon, we'll reveal if this groom had the courage to face the day or to face the bills the day after. The decor was perfect, fit our vision. Oh, yeah. Even um, more so than I even thought. It didn't come across as themey. It was really a reflection of us. Yeah. And it, it, was, it was really beautiful. Yeah. I love the bird cages. This looks amazing. It'll sparkle and glitter at night, and there'll be like tea lights and fluffy and like. It looks amazing. It does. Oh, I love it. <laughs> it's all you. It's all you. And when the bells come in, they're all yours too. See awesome. the canoe? <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even see the canoe. Well, it's kind of hard to miss. It's honestly, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I love it. I think I will tell my family what you are saying about that. I think they'll hear it. I don't think they're going to be very impressed. <laughs> well, I'm part of the family now. It doesn't matter. <laughs> After horsing around for the cameras, it was time for their first dance as husband and wife. The day was amazing. Oh my God. It was a good day. We had a lot to <laughs> overcome. We had the venue change. We had. Yeah. But we had but help. David helped a yeah. lot. And we had a lot of help, and it worked out. We're lucky. But I think it's awesome. It's Love amazing. you, babe. You may have had David's help with the planning, but who's going to be there to help you with the paying? The original budget we handed David was $25,000. I can't believe what my mom was able to achieve with, with the vintage dress and how she was able to make the beautiful bouquet, and that was all free. Delicious cake, awesome cupcakes, amazing setup, only $275. The photo backdrops were a huge hit. Everybody loved putting on the costumes and getting dressed up and taking pictures, and the total cost was $350. The decor, which included linens, chairs, centerpieces, and the awesome, awesome, awesome canoe bar, $1,830. Not too bad. David Connolly was an amazing part of our wedding. He really helped keep us on budget and keep the peace between me and Ash, and his cost was $2,500, worth every penny. For venue, which included alcohol and catering, and the venue and the ceremony, all came to $14,215. Miscellaneous costs, including photography, beautiful umbrellas, and DJ came to $5,200. What we actually spent was $24,370, which puts us under $630. <laughs> Why are you saying it like you had anything to do with that? It was all me. It was not you. If we went with your ideas, we would be at $40,000. The rain was kept at bay, the moon was a perfect backdrop, and the umbrellas got used anyway. The only question left is, is learning how to canoe the next thing on Ash's to-do list? Something, something old, something, something new, something borrowed, something, something blue. blue. I met him at school and I told him he was too young for me and that he should just go away. <laughs> well, I got her drunk and we worked things out. 